Hello there, this is a screencast on magnification for AS Biology Year 12. Uh, right, we start off with the calculation triangle, so size of image, size of object, magnification. You'll always get two out of the three, you've got to find a third one. So here's our first uh, slide, a little picture of an embryo. We've got a scale bar here, and this says that this length is 10 millimeters. So we're going to need to work out the magnification on this one. Uh, we've got a ruler, so we can measure the size of the uh, embryo if we put our ruler up against the image. And that measures 25 millimeters. So if we then look at um, our calculation triangle. We're working out magnification. We've got the size of the image, which is 25 millimeters, and the size of the object, which is 10 millimeters. So put those values in, and 25 millimeters divided by 10 millimeters will give us a value of uh, 2.5 times. Magnification is 2.5 times. Now you've got to be quite sensible about these things, so here we're going to say, well, what is the actual size of the embryo? Well, we know that this is a magnification, so we know that the embryo is going to be smaller. We measure it at 75 millimetres, so it's going to be 75 millimetres divided by 2.5, because we want a smaller value, because we know it's a magnification, and that would equal the embryo actual length is 30 millimeters. Here's a different example. We've got a single celled organism here and down in the bottom left hand corner we've got magnification 600 times. We've got our ruler so we can measure. Let's have a look at the width of the organism. So we measure that at 59 millimeters uh, and we know the magnification is 600 times, so we can actually work out the size of the object. So the size of the object is what we're interested in. We can put in the other values, 600 times magnification and 59 millimeters. Now it would make sense to actually change that to micrometers, 59,000 micrometers, because we're going to divide by 600. 59,000 micrometers divided by 600. And that would work out at 98.3 micrometers as the actual size of that cell. And it's as simple as that, really. Work out the magnification or work out the missing value and then use that for any further calculations. Uh, if you have any difficulties, go back to the worksheet, work through it again, and always think to yourself, what am I expecting it to be? Because uh, if you get a value that's miles out, you probably multiplied when you should have divided. But use the magnification triangle to help you with that. Good luck.